Well, as you can see, it's windy outside, but it's sunny, but it's cold also. It's in the 50s, and it's supposed to be thunderstorms today, so we'll see how it goes, but you're going to hear wind all through my video, and I apologize, but that's how my studio is set up. I'm right next to the window. Anyway, I'm going to get working here in just one second. Time to play with some clay. So it's a little cold in my studio right now. And uh, I don't know how this clay is going to react to the cold because it's not being heated by light. And so we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, let's get her started. I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, work on the uh, chest area a little bit more. In the lower area. <coughs> now we're getting weather alerts here all the time, so you're going to hear my cell phone uh, give me an alarm about a weather coming up. And they do it every time they think they got something to say, but they don't usually have anything to say. But anyway, I suffer from allergies, and that's why I cough. Whenever the wind's blowing, my cough picks up. And it's because of the pollen being blown around outside. And dust. It could be the Sahara Desert blowing in. <laughs> I, I read an article where that was uh, blowing our way. Well, as you can see, I've... Arranged my tools. I got all my metal tools in a jar. I've got all my wire tools over there lined up, uh, except for that one, which is a metal tool. Well, a silicone tool that I made. Um, my calipers are here, my X Acto knife's here, and my clay. About a, I cut up a pound of it, and so I've gone through maybe, oh, maybe a quarter of a pound right now of clay and uh, got my sculpting thing here I've got a, a mount here so I can mount my other camera over there and uh, so I've got a different view uh, than uh, the camera that's right here I may have to turn on the heater in my studio because it is really cold in here right now and I'm just wearing my shorts and my t-shirt and uh, should have probably put my long pants on instead of my cutoffs thought I'd show you this is another this is the other half of that two pound block I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up because it looks like I'm getting load almost a pound for just that so I don't know if I got enough to finish this off but we'll see anyway I'm using a drywall knife or whatever they call these blade to uh, slice it into workable pieces. And as you can tell, I got my heater on. Well, it's getting warmer in here. That's the nice thing about it. All right, I'll come back when I get this filled in a little bit more, and uh, I'll let you see what my progress is. 
I was thinking about doing an old Viking. I, I kind of thought about this last night. An old bony, half-starved Viking. Just a really old guy with a long, craggly beard and his helmet no longer fits his head because <laughs> he doesn't have as much hair as he had uh, when he was younger. And uh, it's just the thought of what I'm kind of thinking of what to do. It's just a fun piece that I'm thinking of doing. So I gotta first build up the body and then I can start uh, making it look, look older. I'm using I'm using my female figure because it has the skeletal structure on one half. Now yes, it's a female skeletal structure, but the bones are similar to that of a male and uh, I gotta be able to uh, get the ribs and everything like that. The uh, figure over there in the, in the distance is the same size in relation to the uh, female of a male and uh, it doesn't show all the skeletal structure and that's the reason why I'm sort of referring to this uh, female sculpture. All right, I'm gonna continue working on my uh, clay. I just had a brilliant idea how to use this uh, aluminum wire that I cut off the legs. I'm going to... Ah! Grab my anvil, my small anvil, which I bought years... I, I bet I bought that back in the 1980s when I was still married. Anyway, I'm going to use that anvil to flatten this aluminum wire and the reason I'm going to flatten it because I'm going to use this as the as part of the uh, helmet he would wear I want it to hold its shape and I can't do it with clay but I could certainly do it with aluminum I just got to find what I do with my hammer there it is so I'm going to flatten this uh, wire. I'm not sure this is going to work, but hey, you got to try. I'll come back to this at a distant time in the future. When I want to uh, work on the uh, helmet. Boy, it's getting dark outside. <sighs> oh, it's starting to rain. I can hear it uh, pounding on the windows. I love the color of this clay because the first clay I ever sculpted in was terracotta clay, uh, brick clay in uh, my high school sculpting class or ceramics class. And I did my first sculptures in that class back in 1965. Did I mention I'm old? <laughs> That was in high school. Skyline High School in Salt Lake City. Or the Salt Lake Valley. Yeah, I guess I hadn't uh, been recording. I decided to give him one eye missing. And so there's no eyeball in that socket. And 
the scar would be continue up here. Like I said, he saw some battles. Look like he's looking through his one good eye. <clears throat> so he's tilting his head back to do that. I'll come back when I get this eye done because I show how to do eyes in my videos, my instructional DVDs. And so I'm just not going to do it here. As you can see, I've been working on the uh, wrinkles in the forehead, uh, <coughs> widening the skull a little bit, and uh, 
trying to get uh, some kind of idea how I'm going to have this helmet fit on his head. Something like that. Kind of like tilted back uh, because it's loose. And uh, that's what I'm thinking. And I'll work a little bit more on the cheeks tomorrow uh, and on the rest of the head. If the head doesn't work, if the face and everything here doesn't work, the whole piece falls apart. So there's no need to be working on the rest of the body until I get that area done. All right, everybody. And uh looks like kind of getting there. It's starting to get some kind of personality. But uh, it's time to call it quits for the night. And I'll see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.